हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू विज्ञान एकेडमी फॉर मैथ्स एंड साइंस आई एम श्रद्धा पांडे एंड दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एयर एंड द टॉपिक इज टेकन फ्रॉम फोर्थ स्टैंडर्ड साइंस ऑफ एस चैन पब्लिकेशन टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ आईसीएसई बोर्ड एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर एटमॉस्फेयर व्हाट डस एयर कंटेन ह्यूमिडिटी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एयर use of air oxygen and carbon dioxide present in air air pollution causes of air pollution effects of air pollution on our body and also we will discuss about how we can reduce air pollution so now let's start with atmosphere can we see air no we cannot see air but it is around us surrounding us is a thick blanket of air called the atmosphere without the atmosphere there would be no life on earth now let's discuss about what does air contain air is a mixture of gases it contains three main gases let's understand with this image more than 3/4 of air is a gas called nitrogen and about 1/5 of the gas present in air is called oxygen and very small amount of other gases including carbon dioxide are also present in air beside this gases air also contain water vapor dust and smoke the amount of these varies from place to place and from time to time now let's discuss about humidity so that take a clean glass fill it half with water add some ice cube to the water to make it cold as we can see in this image observe the outside of a glass after some time can you see small drops of water on it yes this water comes from air water vapor in the air changes back to water when it is cooled by the cold glass the amount of water vapor in air is called humidity it varies according to the location of a place and the weather a place near the sea such as chennai has greater humidity than place away from the sea such as delhi but delhi also has high humidity during the monsoon season when it rains a lot now let's discuss about properties of air following are the properties of air first air has no color can we see the air no we cannot see the air around us because it has no color but we can feel it As we can see in this image when air blows either artificially or naturally we can just feel it we cannot see it as it does not have color air does not have definite shape or volume as we know air is a gas like all gases air does not have definite shape or volume for example if we blow air into a balloon as we can see in this image it takes the shape of the balloon now If we let the air out in a room it will spread all over the room it now takes up more shape than it did inside the balloon now the next property of air is air occupies space for that hold an empty glass is it really empty let's find out take a sheet of a cotton wool and press it into the bottom of the empty glass as we can see in this glass image hold the glass upside down and insert it completely into a bowl of water without tilting it as we can see in the second image now feel the cotton is it still dry yes why this activity shows that water was not able to enter the glass and this is because air occupies the space available in the glass now again put the glass inside the water in a same manner but now you have to tilt a glass and you will observe that air bubbles are coming on the surface of water and water is moving inside the glass which makes the cotton get wet now let's discuss another property of air and that is air has weight to understand this property let's do some activity and for that take two footballs of the same size take out air from both the footballs place them on the two pens of a balance if one of them is lighter than the other 
put some sand on the pan with the lighter football to balance the pens. As we can see in this image. Now feel one of the football tightly with air. As we can see in this image, one of the football is filled tightly with air and put it back on the pen. Is this football now heavier because of the weight of air filled in it? Yes, and this activity shows that air has weight. Another example we can do with the balloons. By taking two balloons of the same size filled with an equal amount of air in it. Now, tie these balloons on the opposite side of a balance stick. Then, pin one of the balloon and observe. We will observe that the balloon pin has become flattened as the air has came out of it. So, it's without air now. And we will also observe that the balloon filled with air has become heavier than the balloon which is not filled with the air. Now we will discuss about uses of air and there are two main uses of air. One is for burning and another is for breathing. So first of all we will discuss about air is needed for burning. For that fix a short candle on a plate and light it. Now invert a glass over the candle. Now what do you observe? So we observe that candle goes out in few seconds and the candle burned for some time because there was air in the glass. Once the air is used up, the candle cannot continue burning. So the part of air that is used up and burning is oxygen and carbon dioxide is given out during burning. Now we will discuss about air is needed for breathing. Air is necessary for all living things for breathing. The air we breathe is called inhaled air. As we can see in this image, first one, the girl is inhaling the air. And the air we breathe out is called exhaled air. And the second image we can see that the girl is exhaling the air. That means removing or breathing out the air. We know that our body uses the oxygen present in air and gives out carbon dioxide as waste as we can see in the another image, this one. Therefore, exhaled air contains less oxygen and more carbon dioxide than inhaled air. Now we will discuss about oxygen and carbon dioxide present in air. We have seen that oxygen gets removed and carbon dioxide gets added to air during burning and breathing. This means that the amount of oxygen in the air should go on reducing and amount of carbon dioxide should go on increasing. But this doesn't happen. Why? Because during the day plants use up carbon dioxide and give out oxygen when they make food by the process of photosynthesis and during breathing burning and photosynthesis together make sure that the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the air remain the same as we can see in this image animals and human beings are shown as a girl in this image who is consuming oxygen and even oxygen else needed for burning and the oxygen is produced during the process of photosynthesis by plant and the carbon dioxide given out by human beings or animals and even during burning process it is consumed by plants for making their foods and with this process or we can say with this cycle presence of oxygen and carbon dioxide is maintained in the air now we will discuss about air pollution. Dust and smoke makes the air dirty and the dirtying of air because of dust, smoke and other harmful substances is called air pollution. Now let's discuss causes of air pollution. The substance that causes air pollution are called pollutants. The main pollutants of air are smoke and harmful gases given off by vehicles, factories and burning fuels. Dust particles 
Germs Some germs are always present in air. Many more are added when people who are not well spit, cough or sneeze. Electric vehicles produced less air pollutants, so we must use more electric vehicles for transport and less petrol vehicles. Now let's see what are the effects of air pollution on our body. So when we breathe polluted air, harmful substances get into our body. So which body system do you think they will harm the most? Yes, it is our respiratory system. And why do you think the air during the valley gets very heavily polluted? Yes, you are right, because of the crackers releasing harmful gases. So, what can you do to prevent this? We can celebrate an eco-friendly Diwali without burning crackers on Diwali. Find out if anyone you know has a disease called asthma and also find out what happens when people with this disease breathe heavily polluted air, for example during Diwali. You will find that the person suffering from asthma is having a breathing problem. That means it is a disease related to our respiratory organ. Apart from our respiratory organs, air pollution also affects on our heart, our muscle cavity. It also affects headache, nausea. It also makes us feel dizziness and it also affects our reproductive system and even it creates eye infections. Now let's discuss how to reduce this air pollution. Some methods to control air pollution and to keep air clean are as follows. Plant more trees as trees clean the air. Reuse and recycle waste materials and garbage instead of burning them. Use filters and vehicle and factories to prevent harmful gases from scaping into the air. As much as possible, use bicycle and public transport instead of private vehicles. This will reduce pollution caused by vehicles. Save energy, including electricity, as burning less fuels reduce air pollution. Reduce waste. Do not throw away food waste and plant waste such as leaves. Instead, use them to make compost. People suffering from cold and cough should cover their mouth with a tissue or with their elbow when they cough or sneeze as we can see in this image. And they should not cough or sneeze openly in the surrounding. Even we should wear a mask if we are not feeling well. Now let's discuss the summary of the lesson. In this lesson, we discussed about atmosphere, then we talk about what does the air contain and then we discussed what is humidity. Then we have seen the properties of air that is air has no color, air has weight, air occupies space and also we have discussed about the uses of air for burning, for breathing and also the presence of oxygen and carbon dioxide in air. Then we have seen air pollution and also its causes and effects of air pollution on our body. Then how to reduce the air pollution by planting trees. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and even don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest update of my channel.